everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making cucumber sandwiches. Cue the music. Well, hey everybody, I am Chef John Polite, and you are watching It's Only Food. If this is your first time watching this channel, or if you just want to learn how to continue to make awesome food, or maybe even learn how to start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then do yourself a favor and click on that little subscribe button in the corner, and then hit that little notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well you clicked on this video to watch me show you how to make a cucumber sandwich. This is not your normal everyday cucumber sandwich. This has got a little bit of a bite to it and some extra ingredients. So let's head into the kitchen and check out what those are. We of course have our bread. I'm gonna use rye and I'm going to use just a wheat bread. Then we have our filling, which is cream cheese, Dijon mustard. I've got some pepper flakes and some dill. And then of course our fillings which is going to be ham, radish, and some sliced cucumbers. So let's get in there and start doing our prep. All right, well I've got started here with the eight ounces of cream cheese. You might want to let it soften up a little bit. It will be easier to blend with your other ingredients. I am going to put about a half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard in there and about one teaspoon of the pepper flakes. Remember this sandwich is going to have some bite to it. And then of course the dill. You can use fresh dill. I didn't add that to my grocery list so we're just using the stuff from the cupboard. An equal amount, about a teaspoon of the dill. I am just going to incorporate all this together and blend it up. You can buy the uh, whipped cream cheese that I know they have in the stores too. Might be a little bit easier, but let me go ahead and finish this up, get it all mixed up, and we will proceed to the next step. All right, I have got the cream cheese all blended. I'm just gonna set this aside. I'm not gonna put it in the refrigerator because I wanna be able to spread it onto my bread. We're gonna go on to the next step, which is slicing up our fillings. All right, our fillings are gonna be, of course, the ham, which is already sliced. Um, you can buy your own and slice your own if you'd like to. Got a radish, you got a cucumber. Now I debated with myself if I wanted to uh, peel the cucumber and uh, of course the radish, but you know what? I think for presentation wise, as you'll see later, leaving the uh, peel on or the skin will actually add a little bit of color contrast in there that I think will work out fine and the cucumber will hold better. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. I have washed these vegetables. I'm just going to slice these very thin. Same thing with the cucumber. And just slice enough for whatever amount of sandwiches you're making and what you think would be a good amount for the middle of your sandwich. I'm only making two sandwiches so this should be just about right. Alright and on to the production of these sandwiches. I'm going to put a little cream cheese on the bottom of the first piece. Then I'm going to put cucumber. Then we're going to put our radish in there. Now this might slide around a little bit but since we're going to be doing our next step, which is taking our second piece of bread and covering it with cream cheese, putting it face down so the cream cheese touches our ingredients on that first layer. Then we put the same with the rye. And then you just want to make sure you cover it this way. Because you're, whoop you're going to put that ham on there. And then, of course, the top. And 
And then you can kind of just smash these a little bit so everything kind of incorporates together in the layers. And that will keep it from sliding around. Our sandwiches are now three layers. Uh, best practices here would be to um, wrap each sandwich individually in plastic wrap and throw it into the refrigerator for a couple hours just so it all sets together. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I do recommend it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the crusts off, turn them into little tiny sandwiches, throw them on a plate, take a lot of pictures of that presented plate with some groovy music underneath on the timeline, and then we're going to come back and show you what it looks like and give them a taste. One of the sandwiches right here. Let's go ahead and put the camera up on a tripod and we'll give this a taste. All right, I've got the sandwich here. Hopefully gets a nice close-up of that one. Got all the layers in there, layers of flavor. I would highly recommend wrapping it and letting it sit in the refrigerator for a while before you cut it. It makes all the layers stick together better and it doesn't pull off with your knife. Use a bread knife or a serrated edge knife and let the knife do the work as you cut through the crusts and you'll get a nice beautiful sandwich like this. All right, well, here goes the bite. Oh, that's good. That cream cheese, you can taste the heat from that little pepper flake in there. And the dill goes well with the Dijon mustard and the ham. And then you get a bite from that radish too. It's got textures in there. The creaminess of the cream cheese and then the crunch of the cucumber and the radish. This isn't your typical little tea party uh, cucumber finger sandwich that you serve with delicate little other appetizers. This has got a little bowl of flavor, a little bit different but it's good. Oh, there it is. I can taste that little pepper flake now. Go ahead and try this out. I hope you like it. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to go down to my description box and check out all those awesome links that I've got down there. I've got one for my seasoning. I have an Etsy store where I sell all my wonderful gourmet seasonings. And then also make sure you stalk me on social media. All those links are also provided down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and like this video. Leave all your comments right down below. And then make sure you share this video with everybody, everybody that you know. Take care and we'll see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye bye.